What's good, my peeps? It's your knucker, Big Rucker, back at you again. We've got another action figure review, and of course, it is courtesy of Hasbro. Marvel Legends, and what we have here, for the first time, we've got a wave of figures in this plastic-free packaging. We've been getting figures, uh, individual, you know, they may have followed a theme, but they were never in a wave, but this is our first wave, our first Build-A-Figure wave, with this package, with this plastic free packaging, excuse me. And uh, yep, it's uh, for the uh, Black Panther and the upcoming Black Panther Wakanda Forever film. And uh, what we have here is uh, you see what it is? This is the uh, Hatut Zaraze now. What the Hatut Zaraze are, they're like the uh, Wakandan secret police. And uh, you see that they are basically, uh, they're also uh, clothed in panther gear, so to speak. And, uh, but yeah, like I said, they're like uh, secret service, secret police for Wakanda. Um, here's a fun fact. T'Challa has a stepbrother who goes by the name of Hunter. And uh, an additional fun fact, Hunter is Caucasian. But he's also, or at least was, the leader of the secret police, the uh, secret service known as the Hatu Zarazi. So, um, yeah, for those that didn't know that, there you go. Some, some comic trivia for you. Anyhow, enough of that. Let's look at the packaging you see right there on the front. Since we no longer can see clearly the figure, I've got the figure on the outside. So you can at least see him for yourself, not to mention... I needed to check to make sure that he was in there and that there was nothing wrong with him. We all know that uh, that is a new uh, concern of ours. So um, for the time being, it is what it is. Anyhow, we've got the digital render of the Tutsaraze on our cover. Uh, behind him is artwork. Then, of course, you've got Black Panther. This is a comic-based figure. Uh, you may also have noticed if you were around for my last video that it was uh, dealing with the uh, Ultron, the Infinity Ultron Build-A-Figure Wave, the Disney Plus Wave. Uh, I've got both of these waves uh, basically simultaneously, so I'll be jumping back and forth giving them equal time. So expect that. So that means the video after this will be a Disney Plus video and uh, zigzag, so on and so forth. Anyhow, I'm kicking the uh, Black Panther wave off with the comic-based figures, and then we'll get into the movie uh, figures themselves. So that's why you're seeing Black Panther right there and no Black Panther Wakanda Forever logo. So, yep, it is what it is. So let's get the Hatutzaraze out of the way so we can peep the box. We've got the uh, Black Panther symbol on the top there. On uh, one side, the uh, left side of the box, or right, there's some artwork of the Tissaraze, Marvel Legends down there at the bottom. On the other side, this is what's new here. So I need to let you guys see this. This is what they're doing now. Instead of having the builder figure on the rear, they have it on the side, the right side of the box, so to speak. And they name the uh, figures. Uh, down the down a list so you see we've got six figures in this particular wave and turn to the back you've got another digital render of the figure and of course this figure comes with the right leg to build a tumor and a tumor being the MCU version of a tumor and then you see there's a sketch there of the Hattusarase's accessories he's got two sets of uh, additional hands and he's got a pair of weapons there. So that's what we got. I'm gonna look at the box one final time and then it's time to get into the review. So we've got the Hatusaraze on our rotating base and he's going round and round, giving 360 degree visual of the character. And of course, there's not much to really uh, discern in terms of detail. It's basically molded in all white and it has some bluish silver highlights around the forearms and the uh, the calves but we'll check that out when we get him off the base but before we do that while he's spinning running around getting dizzy go down below hit that like button 
and definitely uh, since you're down there smash that subscribe button as well let's keep the channel moving and uh, yeah so what we're going to do now is uh, get well before we do that let's check out uh, Atuzaraze's uh, accessories so first up we will check out that uh, the Atuzaraze comes with the right leg to build a tumor and uh, the uh, it's looking pretty cool there the uh, right there just above the uh, the calf is a uh, the jaw of a, what I have to assume yeah the jaw of a shark so pretty cool and that was a probably shark teeth right there pretty nice interesting it's gonna be uh, very interesting to see a tumor when he's fully built he also comes with a set of open grasping clutching grip uh, I call them throttle hands just molded in a uh, flat white and they uh, the wrists are hinged horizontally and the second set of additional hands are trigger finger hands as you can see and uh, with good reason because he a comes with this hand weapon which is just molded in a uh, flat black as you can see and he also comes with this rifle which I believe we've seen before so once again in a flat black looking kind of a uh, futuristic or fake or whatever you want to call it but uh, at least we got uh, two weapons so taking a look up close at the Hatuzaraze like I said it's basically just molded all in white and uh, the few paint apps we get are uh, for one his uh, his eyes they're painted uh, silver which is a uh, pretty cool let's check that out up close and as I was saying you could see painted uh, nice and silver they're uh, lined with black but the actual uh, the iris themselves are uh, painted in that nice silver and once again like I said there's nothing else going on it's just uh, molded in white there so the only other paint we get are around the uh, forearms above the wrists you see it's uh, like a uh, silver a bluish silver uh, that's adorning his uh, his forearms so as you can see that they just go all around like that and then of course the other uh, bit of paint we get are down here around the calves the back of the calves there as you can see so that's really all there is to the Hatuzaraze. So we may as well just get into the uh, articulation. I'm still having issues trying to figure out what body mold this is. If you guys know, please let me know in the uh, comments below. I know it isn't the Sunfire Body. The Sunfire Body has uh, butterfly joints, which this does not. It's not the Bucky Cap. It's a little bit bigger than the Bucky Cap, a little bit, you know, thicker, more full bodied. But. Uh, let me know. I, I, I thought it might be the Spider UK body, but uh, something, uh, Spider UK, the back doesn't uh, look like that, you know, where the, uh, the ab crunch is. But uh, whatever the case might be, the head is on a ball hinge, so he can look up that far. He can look down way far. You can, of course, do 360, and you get some some attitude there. As far as the arms, he can lift it more than 90 degrees. He can get the 360-degree uh, rotation. He's got bicep swivel. This is an older buck, that much I do know, so he is pinned, but it's double-jointed. He has a wrist swivel and horizontal hinge. That's with all the hands, as I stated previously. He's got an ab crunch. And go forward that far and go back that far he does have waist rotation but due to the nature no belt no nothing it looks pretty ugly it breaks up the scope uh, in a not so nice way as far as hips he's not getting anything that way this almost is like bucky cap only going that far he can raise his legs up more than 90. He can go back just a little bit. He does have thigh rotation, double jointed pinned knees, which don't really uh, go that far back. He can 
point his toes that far forward, that far up, not too far up because you've got uh, folds at the bottom of the, uh, the, the pant leg there. He does have ankle pivot and of course you know what it is, he's got holes, peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Here I have the Hattusaraze posed with a uh, trigger hand uh, on his right arm and an open grasping hand on his left. And uh, do note that uh, both trigger hands do have the vertical hinge, so that's, that's good right there. And here's a look at him from another angle, same pose. And here's the Hattusaraze in another, uh, another pose, only uh, he's brandishing his uh, hand weapon this go round. And let's get a height measurement of our Hatutzeraze. And we got him coming in at, it's looking like six and a quarter inches tall. And since the Hatutzeraze is essentially an army builder, I figured I'd show him off with a few other army builders from uh, Marvel Legends. We've got the AIM Soldier, the Hydra Trooper, a Red Hand Ninja, and a Black Hand Ninja. And I have Maria Hill here because two reasons. One, I uh, have all of my uh, shield, my male shield agents. They're all uh, stuffed away. I haven't uh, put them in any type of display yet, so they're packed away for now. And I just didn't feel like digging them out for a, uh, you know, a short video. Uh, and second, I do believe that because we got Quake with a female shield body, that we are not uh, long for uh, getting shield agents as troop builders, female shield agents. And last but certainly not least, we've got Hatutzeraze next to his king, T'Challa of Wakanda. And this, of course, is uh, T'Challa as he, uh, this was a Walgreens exclusive. And of course, he's on the uh, Bucky cap. There is a Black Panther that's in this wave and in fact he will be next because he's also a uh, comic based figure and uh, of course we'll be comparing him with this T'Challa and uh, he'll also be able to be stacked up against the Hatuzaraze but uh, we'll have to wait until that review. So to sum it all up, the Hasbro Marvel Legends Black Panther Wakanda Forever Atuma Builder figure wave Hatuzaraze is a very nice figure to have. It's an army builder for sure. Uh, my uh, biggest complaint would be the articulation in those hips. They're just, I mean, it, it's unacceptable to me. Um, he should be a lot more limber than he is. Uh, even though he's not uh, a Black Panther, he's not uh, empowered by the, uh, by the herbs and stuff. He still should be able to get in some kind of a crouch pose, and uh, it's you, you're not going to get him in any kind of pose crouching that actually looks good. He does come with the hand weapon, which you see displayed now, as well as a uh, a uh, long range firearm, two additional sets of hands, and uh, yeah, pretty cool. And once again, it is an army builder. I've actually got uh, three. At the time, so uh, that's uh, one is going to be uh, Hunter. I'm going to find a uh, a cape for him, and uh, that way it'll distinguish him from the other two, or however many I end up getting. Uh, and uh, as the leader of the Atusarazi, so um, yeah, it is what it is. Anyhow, it's a it's a nice looking figure, that's for sure. Once again, if you know what body mold this is, I still can't, uh, for the life of me, think of what who was the originator of this body mold, who had it first. If you guys know, please let me know. And uh, while you're down there, let me know in the comments. Uh, you can also ask questions and uh, voice criticisms as well. I'm cool with that, but since you're going to be down there, hit the like button if you haven't done so already. And if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, hook a brother up. And uh, if you like what you've seen and heard, then please hit that bell to be notified for the next time I upload a video. So uh, that'll do it for today, guys. And uh, as far as the Atuma Builder Figure Wave is concerned, Black Panther will kind of ever. The next one up will be T'Challa himself, the Black Panther. This will be the uh, 
the uh, comic based version of Black Panther and uh, for this line he will be up next until the next time remember this the hunt continues and I'm out peace